What is up, everybody? It has been so long since I've done one of these videos. Um, today, we're gonna be learning how to do truck drivers with Merrick Auto. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've done one of these videos, uh, mainly just because we haven't had a setup to, to really do one. Um, so I'm headed over right now to Merrick's yard. Uh, if you follow me on any other social platforms, we've been doing so much work in his backyard to make it the way it is. And um, yeah, stoked to, to finally have a spot like his in, uh, in the area. And um, yeah, we're gonna be learning how to do truck drivers today. Also, to follow that up, I'm not gonna be learning truck drivers. Merrick's gonna be learning truck drivers. I'm currently under the weather. I got a, a getting over cold, so excuse my raspiness in my voice. But um, yeah, Merrick's gonna be learning how to do regular trucks today. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time and hopefully we'll get him riding away from one. Alrighty, so we're out here. Merrick's warming up. He just crashed. <laughs> we're off to a good start. Alrighty, so for warming up, we're gonna have Merrick do a bunch of 360s uh, to make him so that he doesn't have to think about them, just so that it's muscle memory, you just spin off the lip. And then uh, right after that, we're gonna do some bar spins. Get those just the same way where you don't have to think about them. And then we're gonna move into putting it all together. So before we get started on this, I wanna do a little review on the correct way to spin and throw bar spins with the way that your feet are. So if you're left foot forward, you're gonna be spinning to the right uh, because the back foot is gonna give you leverage to whip around the back end. And then also, if you're left foot forward, you're gonna be throwing your bar spins with your left hand. So this way. And then let's uh, move on to if you're right foot forward, it's gonna be the exact opposite. So if you're right foot forward, you are gonna be spinning this way and you're gonna be throwing your bar spins with your right hand. You're more than welcome to try it the other way. It's just gonna make it a little bit harder. If you learn spins uh, opposite to your feet, then uh, the bar spin is gonna be a little bit harder to add in there. Um, and uh, it just kind of, it makes it easier if you're spinning bars the opposite way that you're spinning, just because the flow of it, the bars don't have to move around so much. Um, if you're spinning, to the right and throwing the bars to the right, your bars are ending up doing more of a rotation than they would be if you're spinning them opposite. Um, I'll show you that really quick. So if you spin to the right and the bars don't move, see they're still pointed. Technically all you need to do is do a half bar spin and that's a truck driver. That makes sense. Whereas if you were spinning the bars the same direction as you're spinning, the bars have to spin towards the way you're spinning and it just makes them have to go around way further. The Merrick yesterday learned how to bar spin and spin the opposite way. So we're gonna be trying to get him to do it his regular way today. Moving on to threes. Alrighty, now that Merrick's warmed up on his threes and his bars, we're gonna do a, try to do a 90 truck driver. Didn't happen first go. All right, so for this trick, you really wanna have your spins and your bars kind of just dialed into where you don't have to think about them. For the most part, the spin is all off the lip. It's just, everything's normal as just normal spin. Save movement, once you leave the lip, you're already starting that rotation of a spin. And then you start the process of the bar spin where you're gonna be popping and spinning. And then you're gonna be finding your seat to pinch your knees. And then you're gonna be throwing the bar spin, but also while looking. And so what I do is I find my seat and pinch. Don't even really look at my bars and I just spin them out of just muscle memory. And, uh, and then I keep looking for the landing. Starting off, it's good to just start with a 90 degree spin and then work your way up to a 180. And then after you get to a 180, then it's just a little bit more speed, a little bit more of a spin off the lip. 
and uh, it ends up coming around. So we're gonna start with 90s right now with Merrick and uh, then move on to 180s. Yeah, dude. So with that one, Merrick got 180 bar basically and we're gonna see if we can do another one. Yo. I, I just like defaulted to XL. I was just so scared. Merrick forgot to let go on that one and did a three, 360 X up, which is honestly so sick. <laughs> Getting closer. Yeah. Oh my God. We good? So if you find yourself in this little bit of an issue where you're throwing the bar spins and they're just like not coming around, <laughs> not coming around as like normally normal as they should, uh, just go back to the drawing board, uh, throw a bunch of bar spins in a row and then um, maybe a th few spins without anything and then go back to it uh, just to get that muscle memory back, get your, your, uh, mind trained to throw the bar spin correctly and spin correctly and then go back to putting them together oh. that was so stupid man Wow, we're just getting them now. What? Ooh. Mm. That's fucked, bro. Count it. After a long session, he finally got it. Congrats, dude. <laughs> so that's it. Merrick ended up getting it after like probably an hour of, of tries. Uh, he had the thing with what he was doing was he learned bar spins the opposite way. So he was spinning his regular way and then throwing the bars like in a foreign way to him. So that was his biggest struggle was just being consistent with the bar spins. Um, but he ended up being able to put it all together and uh, riding, riding away from one. So stoked he was able to do that. He's definitely got a lot of work to do uh, with just practicing and then obviously like going faster, clearing the whole jump. Uh, but yeah, he got it and um, that's what we were aiming for. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.